Somebody shout hallelujah. I say somebody shout hallelujah. I want everybody to rise up on their feet this evening. You're going to pray prayer in songs. I want us to first of all thank God for the five days, the last five days. God has been wonderfully gracious. Let's give him glory. Can you just wave unto him and give him glory for the five days? Let's bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. Tonight is a night when the Lord will release fire upon the earth. And the gates that will not open will open by force. Seasons that were not appointed. God will release a decree now and those seasons will be appointed in your life. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Can you thank God for helping us survive this year? For being faithful to your families, your home, your church. For sparing your own life, our lives. In spite of the COVID-19, the Lord has kept us. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we Can you tell Baba thank you again? Just give him glory. Give him praise. Give him glory and give him praise. Channels of my spirit open up. I am with the Father. Open up. No boundaries, no limit. Open up. Let deep call unto deep. Open up. Channels of the Spirit, if you know that song. Channels of the Spirit, open up. Aha. I am with the Father, open up. No boundaries, no limit, open up. Hallelujah, Lord. Let deep call unto deep open up. One last time. Channels of the Spirit open up. I am with my Father open up. No boundaries, no limit open up. Let deep call unto deep open. Ah, can you tonight begin to ask that every channel by which the Father feeds your soul, by which the Father feeds your life, by which the earth blesses you, tonight being the last day of this night vigil like this, can we ask that they open up, command that they open up, can you say, Heavenly Father, every channel attached to my life to bless me, tonight break their walls and open them to me. Let the powers of the deep open. Tonight in the name of Jesus, let God arise. Let him set his thrones in this place and let him begin to distribute a portion. Why? Because the siege is over. The siege is over. That which couldn't bless us must bless us now.
that which didn't remember us must remember us now. Laws that need to be changed must be changed for my sake now. Can you begin to command that all the channels of the spirit that feed your soul, that supply, let them open up. Let them open up. Let them open up. Genesis 11, 7 verse 11, sorry, Genesis chapter 7 verse 11, the Bible says very, very clearly there that the Lord will open the windows of heaven and the fountains of the deep and he will release rain. Can you tell God to open your windows and open your fountains? Let your channels bless you. Malachi 3.10 says very clearly that when you bring in your tithe the lord will open the windows there is a doorway from which your blessings come command the channels that feed your spirit to open every law of satan that is standing against those channels i want you to break them now i want you to command that their walls fall let their walls fall ah tonight is my power night tonight is my fire night let god arise let him set that the adeboye on fire tonight the kind of fire he has never experienced inside his body like it was in the days of moses let him set him on fire like it was in the days of elijah let him set him on fire like it was in the days of the messiah let him set him on fire but tonight every channel to my spirit must be opened up open your mouth and pray connect yourself with the vessel of honor tonight that the channels will open tonight every prophetic spirit i condemn them command that they be broken Every spirit that holdeth back your times and seasons. Command that they be broken. Let God arise. Set up his throne on the four winds of the earth. And begin to release from the four winds. Remove every, every hindrance. And open a new channel, a new gate for the church. Channels of my spirit tonight is my night open up open up i am with the father tonight in this place i have come to meet with god open up by the covenant of this auditorium i command you to open up to me if you will not respect my faith respect the faith in this auditorium open up Every door that could not be unlocked, prophesy that their chains break away. Oh, you will not leave this place without a blessing. Let God arise and fill this place with his fire. Everywhere, let miracles begin to happen. Even while you are yet, while that is yet speaking, while every speaker is yet speaking, let the miracles take place. Let them begin now. While you are yet praying, let something shift in your body. Let the covenant of this ground open up your gates. No boundaries, no limit. Open up. I don't want any boundary in my life. Break every boundary around your life. Every limitation. Begin to destroy them. Let deep call unto deep, open up. Let deep begin to call unto deep. Ah, the siege is over. It's a very deep theme. It takes a lot of boldness in this season to put this theme as a theme of a convention. Ah, daddy must have seen something we have not seen. Can we call the deep to open? Whatever he had seen, I want it to reach me tonight. 
I repeat, Daddy must have seen what we have not seen. Tonight, whatever is here in the heavenly places that our Father in the Lord has seen, it must reach me. My channels must open. It must reach my family. It must reach my home. It must reach our, my ministry. It must reach my kingdom and chiefdom. If you are a paramount ruler. It must reach Nigeria. Let the secrets of the deep open. Somebody shout open. 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 Channels of my blessing open. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you believe your own has opened, shout hallelujah. If you believe there will be no hindrance tonight, shout hallelujah. If you believe your miracle has already taken place, shout hallelujah. Somebody shout open. Somebody shout open. I want you to listen and listen carefully. Ah. The spirit is proclaiming the same thing all over the world. Except that not many people are bold enough to confess it to millions of people. The way that the Adeboe has put it very succinctly and authoritatively in this team. Listen, even in Israel, 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 the land of our covenant, they believe that this year is a Shemitah year. 5782 in their calendar is a Shemitah year. A Shemitah year is a year when God enters into covenant with the land and releases the land, blesses the land, renews the covenant of the land to restore man. Ah! Today, this ground belongs to the earth. I invoke the blessing of the Shemitah to take hold of the land your feet is walking on and overthrow every principality that will not allow you to prosper in this season. In the name of Jesus, I connect with the fire of our Father who has looked into the deep to release the fire of God into your houses. Anything that will not let you go. Let it burn by fire. I say let it burn by fire. Somebody shout fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. So right now, let every pot begin to catch fire. Every shrine that will not allow you to move forward. We invoke the judgment of this ground. I stamp my feet on the ground here. Stamp your feet on the ground where you are. And invoke the judgment of this ground against that principality. Let fire consume them. Let fire go to your house now and begin to set captivity free. It's a Sabbath year unto the law. Stamp your feet on the ground and command the fire to catch your home. That tonight, every prayer that is prayed here, something will shift in your house, shift in your office, Shift in the presidency. Shift all over the state governments. Shift in your businesses. Shift in your marriage. Let judgment go forth. 
Let a throne be set for your life. Tonight, let God arise. Let the channels of heaven be open. Jewish tradition it is a year of release everyone that has been limited everyone that has been taken captive by anything I proclaim your jubilee now I command your release in the name of Jesus when daddy spoke about the siege being over he must have seen a covenant and the word of the Lord that had been released like in the time of Joseph to break the chains of Joseph and turn him into a king. This year, and when I say this year, I'm referring to 2022, is a year when God will restore the crowns upon his children. Whatever is holding back your crown, I cut off the hand and the legs of that thing and I release the sword of the Lord to smite them. Receive your release in the name of Jesus. Receive your release in the name of Jesus. Receive your release in the name of Jesus. The Shemitah year is a year when God blesses our agriculture. That means God makes us fruitful. Genesis chapter 36, <laughs> verses 6 to 7. Listen, raise up your right hand. Listen. Because of the blessings that will visit you, no land in this earth will be able to contain you anymore. Can you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, from now henceforth, no land shall be able to contain me anymore. Begin to pray for yourself. Every land I step upon from now will open, open, open. No land. By the law of the siege being over. It's a declaration of jubilee. Our year of release. Our year of release. Oh, no, look. Listen. Some of you still don't understand. When the Lord says the siege is over, listen. Listen. This is very, very, very important. Even the Jews have faith in this coming year we are entering. Israel, Judaism, they are all expecting something from the Messiah this year. Let me tell you, the symbol in their language of 5782, it means it is a year when God builds a habitation, a house, an estate for all that are redeemed. This is a year when God, when you leave this conference, he's going to drive the Philistines before you. And he's going to build houses for you. He will build habitations for you. Somebody shout, my God arise. And let your enemies in my life be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout yeah. Let there be a shout of triumph today. Yeah. No, you don't still understand. I was listening to the advertisement of this program. It is connected to appointed seasons. That means daddy has seen an appointed season. Now I want you to listen. Every 
appointed season has an angel attached to it to execute it if God is going to make the siege over your life apart from the Holy Spirit that will help you with all the fullness of the Father God is going to appoint an angel from heaven and attach them to you by name you will not walk alone anymore anything anything that will not allow you move forward today let the hand of God smite it Look, listen when the seasons change for Moses God appointed an angel to carry him through the wilderness when it was a turn of Joshua a captain of the host of heaven appeared and came to carry him to divide for them a house some of you may not grasp this enough Exodus 15 13 what does Exodus 15 13 Exodus 15 13 says that the Lord God himself is going to bring you to your habitation a habitation that he has built for you so when the siege is over it means that God when you live here is going to carry you through another direction Every ambushment that Satan has planned for you will not catch you. Let's see what happened to Deborah. God appointed her angel for her. Ah, can you say, Baba? Appoint my angel for me. For me and my family. I ask you and I receive in the name of Jesus appoint my angel that brings me to my place that point appoints to me my inheritance that divides for me my portion I enter into covenant with you tonight appoint me a messenger from heaven that will lead me out of this place and hand over my habitation to me in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ if you believe that shout amen if you believe that shout amen ah, what does the Bible says in Judges chapter 5 23 I can feel the atmosphere for miracles tonight. That which you never imagined, plus the one you didn't come ready to ask for, will visit you when you enter home. God tonight is not going by how many prayer items you bring before him. He's going by what is in his agenda for this year. This year is a year of restoration is a year of reparation is a year of restitution is a year of healing not ordinary healing the healing that your mouth cannot explain plus the one you didn't ask for everybody that needs a healing here let the hand of god cut off that infirmity now let that healing take place in the name of jesus I didn't hear somebody shout amen verse 23 says curse ye meros said the angel of the Lord that was the angel that was attached to Deborah I'm trying to give you a typical example of what your angel will do any man that will not bless you will be cursed anything that will not come to your aid 
your angel will pursue them I release that messenger upon your life now by the virtue of the revelation of this siege that is over receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus somebody shout the siege is over not the Spirit of God that spoke didn't say the siege will be over eh? no he said the siege is over already anything that is behind time in bringing you your blessings let that thing disappear before your life oh no you don't understand listen because the season of the Lord says the siege is over today let your enemies begin to conflict themselves let them begin to stampede to bless you tonight let the laws and the seasons around your life change for eternity receive your miracle in the name of Jesus can you say with me the siege will not be over but that the siege is over already so before i get home anybody that is supposed to disappear let them disappear before the end of this december everybody that's supposed to be cut off let them be cut off before the end of this december everybody that should promote you let them take their mantle and promote you somebody shout the siege is over already say the word of the lord can somebody shout amen listen the work of that angel god is going to attach to you will be to cut off the enemies that are stronger than you and destroy the circumstances that you cannot overcome the second work of that angel will begin will be to appoint those who are supposed to bless you and move them from where they are to where you are and bless you that angel is meant to be a prompter for the father he is a man of war he is a man of battle that angel said cause ye meros say the angel of the lord that was attached to deborah cause ye bitterly the inhabitants who did not come to help deborah because they came not to help to the help of the lord to the help of the lord against the mighty i want you to note something the word says against the mighty against the mighty ah what is that goliath in your life what is the symbolism of the mighty is it a sickness that is unto death tonight that sickness disappears have you been in depression because you have tried everything and you gave up hope this place is your last bus stop that situation will disappear in jesus name I command the angel that is appointed for this season to go to war on your behalf and bring healing and release to your life in the name of Jesus Christ I didn't hear somebody say amen so because of you a lot of people will receive blessing 
because of you a lot of people will receive curses but the work of that angel is to rearrange things in your life if you are not in the right place he will provoke you to go to the right place that was what that angel was to moses that was what that angel was to joshua that was what that angel was to gideon that was what that angel was to manoah that was what that angel was even jesus had his angels they were the angels of time at the time he faced pilate and Cephas. They asked him, are you king of the Jews? He said, unto this was I born, for this purpose. And Pilate spoke as if he had power to release him. Jesus said, there are legions of angels who are just crying for the command. They were born for this time. To panel beat you and to cut you off. All they need is for me to give them the signal. Today, let those angels descend on your situation. Let God not hold back his hand tonight in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you let your deliverance begin now. Whatever strange thing in your body, I command you to get out. While the world is going on, if you need to vomit them out, vomit them out. But your habitation in the name of Jesus is recovered tonight, is redeemed tonight. What does the Bible say in Second Samuel? Chapter 22. Second Samuel. Chapter 22. From verses 16. Of Second Samuel. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There is somebody here. The Lord says within one year. Right now, it does not look like it. But within one year, you will become the pillar of your community. I didn't hear somebody say amen. The Lord says he is transferring the wealth of the nations and restoring the crowns of the nations back to the church. Note, wealth and crowns, wealth and crowns, 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 wealth and crowns. The Lord says he is redeeming the foundations of Nigeria in the coming season. I didn't hear somebody say amen. I say I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Ah, Baba. Second Samuel chapter 22 verse 16 says and the channels of the sea appeared is one of the functions the foundations of the world were discovered on your behalf every deep thing that is holding your destiny i prophesy by this word that it open up to you now The Bible says, at the rebuking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. Can you 
Jesus said, my father, from the dwellings of my ancestors and the history of my life, anything that is a hindrance, let their foundations be opened up. Let my life tonight be released into my destiny. Let my healing come forth in the name of Jesus. I enter into covenant with you for my deliverance. And I rebuke those channels to open now in Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody say amen. That means God this year is going to continue digging deeper in your life. And he will not stop until he finds that singular thing that will not allow you to be complete. And what will he do? He will rebuke it. He will command it to get out of your way. That's the only way your channels can be open. If the Lord does not take care of your foundations and does not take care of the channels of your blessing, no matter what you do, it will still be blocked. An angel had to be sent to remove another demon that was hindering the prayers of Daniel. Today, the angel appointed to you will release help for your blessing. I didn't hear somebody say amen. The Bible says in verse 17, He sent from above, and he took ordinary me, Emmanuel Kure, he took me up. God is going to send for you tonight. God is going to take you up tonight. He drew me out of my many waters of trouble and suffering. Out of all the threats in my life. Ah, I don't care what threats are around you. I release the fire of God to consume those threats. This scripture is very important. Verse 18 says, He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. Ah, ah. Any water that Satan has poisoned against you, let that water poison the owner. And let that owner become the sacrifice, not you. And if there is a poison affecting your life, I command that poison to dry up in your body now. I prophesy healing into your life healing for your relation in the name of jesus christ it's a shemitah year it's a sabbath year it's a season when god brings people to their rest when they find the fountain of living waters that changes their situation it's an appointed time it can only be by appointment when i saw this team I shivered inside of me. Some of us didn't have enough faith to proclaim it exactly like this. We knew it was a time of restoration. We knew it was a time when the deep will open. But the boldness to declare that the siege completely is over. Ah! It will take the one who talks mouth to mouth with God. And hears God ear to ear. To repeat that exact statement. And because daddy has had. I declare your problems over. The Bible says in verse 19. They prevented me in the day of my calamity. But the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. You see God is not just delivering you from your enemies. He's bringing you into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Can somebody say amen to that? 
The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands has he recompensed me. Tonight, if you have any restitution to make, tonight, if you have any repentance to make, before the service is over tonight, make sure you have made your peace with God. Because God can only bless you according to the righteousness of your hands. Check your hands. Is there evil in it? Check your heart. Have you been corrupted by the seasons? It is time for you to ask the Lord for mercy and let him bring forgiveness. The last key verse for the Shemitah year that belongs to the church is Revelation chapter 12 verse 16. I don't know whether those who sound the trumpet are already here. Because it's with a blast of the trumpet that the Lord will come. We want to declare a new season with the blast of the trumpets and instruments. And everybody will echo a shout that will break open all their landmarks and release the hand of God into their lives. And that's the last thing we're going to do. If those with the trumpets or shofars or instruments are already here, if they are not here, we will shout without them. It's okay. But God had commanded that tonight, being the last night vigil, thorough night vigil of this meeting, that there will be a seven time shout for the walls of Jericho to fall. They shouted seven times. We are going to proclaim our new season by seven shouts. Ah! That demon has not been born that will stand in your way after tonight. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Look at what will happen to you in Revelation chapter 12 verse 16. <laughs> Everybody can we read so that you know what will happen. In a Shemitah year, in the year when God renews the earth, this is what happens. Everybody, can we read? And the earth heard the woman. Ah. And the earth opened her mouth. Ha. Ah, and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Can we repeat it again, everybody? And the earth helped the woman ah today by the spirit of the Lord I invoke the earth to help you wherever you enter I invoke the earth to scatter your enemies every libation poured on the ground against you the ground will use that vibration to swallow the owner. From now, you will sow tenfold and you will harvest a millionfold. I command the laws of heaven to take possession of the earth you walk on and to measure and allot to you the portion of God according to his command in the name of Jesus in Genesis 36 verses 6 and 7 God blessed Esau and God blessed his brother Jacob so much that the land could not contain them from today, two of you will not dwell in one city because of the wealth that the Lord will bring to your life. You will make way to buy another city. I release that fire upon you as we conclude today. I release that covenant over you in the name of Jesus. 
somebody shout the storm is over somebody shout the storm is over therefore tonight every dragon that has released a flood against you i prophesy that the head of that dragon be cut off whether your home in your church let the lord go over i mean after every satanist ever uh, after every manipulating spirit let their heads begin to roll on the ground let the fire of god begin to consume them from today can you say heavenly father i enter into covenant with you to activate the earth on my behalf everywhere i enter by this covenant the earth will help me i expect the earth to help me i receive the help of the holy spirit through the earth today my father my father now that i know that the earth has a mount no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper every weapon that opens up against me let the earth open her mouth and swallow them swallow them swallow them swallow them swallow them in the name of jesus somebody shout amen somebody shout amen i don't know how many of you know that no witchcraft prospers without the earth the earth the serpent eats dust the earth we were made from dust so every juju they want to make they must include the dust when you go back home even here where you are i'm not sure there is a dust there because this auditorium keeps changing every day <laughs> but you will pick the dust and prophesy to the dust and say oh earth it is written the earth helped the woman from today i command and prophesy to you in the name of jesus to bring me help from today any witchcraft against me holding that dust in the name of jesus let that witchcraft be cut off from today let the earth swallow my enemies i command that i demand that i demand that in the name of Jesus I remember last year's meeting that the Adeboye taught us here very fearful kind of prayer he said you must demand you are not only commanding you are demanding and he said he had never 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 crossed that line of teaching it like that except if it was not last year but i was in that meeting and he said when you pray you will demand today you will pick the dust and demand the air to swallow your enemies and to smite them and to lift away their witchcraft from you and open a highway for you and restitute for you and change your story for you and wear your crown for you today i release power after your prayer in the name of jesus christ somebody shout hallelujah on the basis of this revelation are we ready for our shout the shout that declares that the heavens and the earth are open to me to you as an individual that from now the earth must keep an appointment with me must keep an appointment with you the heavens must keep an appointment with you 
Anything that should not be from their foundations, let them give way out of your life. You are going to place a demand on the oil of God on this auditorium to change and redefine everything in our lives. Everything that is potter potter, everything that has become a saw in our lives, everything that makes us feel ashamed, everything that makes us feel incomplete, everything that makes us fall just below our peak. Some of you are supposed to be the leaders of your institution and you are still there lagging behind. Today, that war is over. That war is over. From now henceforth, everywhere you enter, the wall of Jericho will fall. No, it is there in Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 9 the bible says god entered into an oath with the tribes with the individuals of the church and by that oath god laid his sword bare that means he released his sword to begin to cut off those who will not allow the church prosper today as we raise this shout let the sword of the lord be made bare in your life Like in the Garden of Eden, let the sword stretch out to protect you and your family. To retrieve back what was stolen from you. Let a new heaven and a new earth. Let your life be ushered into a new heaven and a new earth. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, yes! Number two, yeah. Number three, yeah. Number four, yeah. Number five, yeah. Number six, yeah. I want you to pause there. The sounds and the trumpets will go before us in this last shout. Look, imagine what the trumpet sound will look like in the day when Jesus appears. See yourselves as foreigners of the revelation of Jesus to all of our lives here, including my own. You will raise a loud shout. Whichever way you want to raise it, raise it. By the time you are rounding up, all of us will shout either hallelujah, yeah, whatever your spirit is led to, led to shout. Shout it! And in your house, every wall will be flattened. In your office, every restriction will be taken away. Tonight, as the Lord liveth, a fire will fall from heaven as we have never seen it before. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Are we ready? Take over now. Somebody shout, Yeah. 